Public Service Board. And according to Migori County Secretary, that is Oscar Olima, the move will aid in reducing its blotted workforce. Now, last year, an Institute of Professional Human Resources Management audit revealed that Migori County has 607 ghost workers. The consultancy report commissioned by Governor Ochilayako indicated that the county had employed 427 casual workers, although the number was 1,034, showing 607 were ghost workers. The payroll audit uh, showed a discrepancy of 120 million shillings in one month and in another month uh, jumping to over 200 million shillings. With that, the governor said the county has been losing over 60 million uh, to pay uh, for ghost workers who have not uh, designate, who have not designated working offices uh, shockingly. It's now in place and that uh, all matters relating to the management uh, of the public service that were put on hold uh, due to the unavailability of the board can now be put behind us. The board will task itself with the cleaning up any excesses or any um, uh, uh, irregularities within the public service. <coughs> and uh, towards that end, um, Soon, uh, we will have uh, a, a complete reveal of the results of the, of the actions that have been taken as a result of the headcount. We want to thank the governor because all the due diligence have been followed and it was a rigorous exercise. And this board is being led by professionals. And we hope that we are going to deliver the service to the members of this county. The likelihood of having ghost casuals uh, exceeding uh, 600 in numbers. Now, it indicates that um, if uh, the existence of those casuals and how they are paid is not verified, the county could be losing 60 million annually.